Hello YouTube, Raphael here today, and I'm going to be teaching you how to use player prefs. Um, this is going to be a tutorial on how to save an integer's value, so whenever you exit a scene or if you exit the game, the values will be saved and stored, and when you go back, it will be left off to where it was previously. To understand what I'm saying, let me build this simple scene that I created here. So we started off at 36, well, in this video we're going to start off from 0, but wherever we tap on the scene, the values will go up, and if we were to leave a scene and go back to it, it stays as a 48. And if we were to exit the scene and play again, it is going to keep the values, it will basically remember the values. Okay, so it's pretty easy to create, just simply stick um, with this. I've made a new scene here for this particular tutorial. You don't have to do that, you can do it in any um, other scene, but like, if you have a previous scene already, you can just skip this part here where I created a new scene, but um, let's get right to the point. So we're going to start off by creating a canvas. So in this hierarchy, we're going to right click and go to UI and select canvas what this canvas is going to do is it's going to contain our label and that label will re record our integers values so whenever we click around it's going to update and we're going to do that by right clicking on canvas and we're going to go to UI again and this time we're going to click on text this um, text over here let me you know that's too big let me center that over here and this is going to simply say zero but what we also want to do is you want to make the font size 40 you don't have to um, do it exactly as how I'm doing it but you at least want it to be visible to the player so let's go to our game again if, on the very top here you can see I'm clicking on game um, this is the this is um, how our canvas looks like basically so that's our camera if you want to check out how the scene looks like um, when you're using an app or playing the app, just simply go to game and you will see how it is. Um, let's go to scene now, so we don't really need to edit anything else aside from lab adding in a label. Um, we're going to create a new script, so head over to assets, and click create C sharp script. And this is going to say new number script. You can call it whatever you want. I'm just going to call my new number script. And head over to your main camera. Just wait for the pinwheel to... Okay. Head over to main camera and click add component. And whatever you called your script. So I called my new number script. Click on that and simply add it. Make sure this box here is ticked. I'm just... um make Just make sure if it's ticked. If it's not ticked, simply um, fix that right now. And we're going to now head over to our newly created script. So double click it and it should open up Visual Studio or MonoDevelop. In my case, that's Visual Studio, as you can clearly see here. And we're going to simply, um, on the very top, we're going to enter using UnityEngine.UI. And then with a semicolon. If you have watched my Objective-C programming tutorials, this will seem familiar. We're also going to declare a new integer, so we're going to do int, <coughs> we'll say um, uh, hello equals zero, semicolon. And in our, well before we actually go to our start method, we want to declare the label, <coughs> so public text label, just like that. And we're going to head over to our main camera before we do any more programming, and wait for it to, um, to sync. So, See this? See in this script, we now have the label which we declared over here, <coughs> which we declared in our newly created script. So you want to link this label by dragging in the text, which is a game object. So drag it in, and now you should now it will be able to um, know which um, game object, which text are we referring to whenever we make changes in the code. Head over back to um, oops. Head over back to Visual Studio. 
and now we can code in our start method so in our underneath our void start gonna do a hello so whatever we call our integer which is hello equals um, player prefs um, dot get int this is going to be important so in between these two parentheses we're going to let's see we can do um, number count this is important you have to make sure that when you we're going to need this name when we code our update fun update method so basically um, if the name is not the same or if one of your letters are capitalized which is this is case sensitive by the way um, it will throw you well it won't throw you an error but it will simply not um, save or it will not um, show up in the label because the two um, are not matching the names are not matching and we don't want that to happen because we you know that's gonna cause a lot of troubles um, simply go and do label the text underneath our start um, our void start and we're gonna call convert to string so do hello dot to string and um, that's it that's, that's it basically we don't have to do anything else in our start um, function we can now do the rest in our update now here we're gonna program it so that whenever we click anywhere in the screen so no matter where we click this will update our um, variable so that will be input dot get mouse button down open parentheses zero two close parentheses and one um, hyphen over here which should generate another closing bracket but if it doesn't just simply put that in we're gonna do so if input dot get mouse button down so it's gonna do, it's gonna detect if we click if we left click and we're gonna do debug dot um, log um, bracket and this is going to be hello which is our integer uh, and then with the semicolon and what it's going to do is gonna add one to you're gonna add one each click so do hello plus plus and then next we're going to want to add it with the semicolon again I almost forgot that um player prefs now dot set int two I mean open bracket and two speech marks comma whatever we called our integer and that's that was hello so comma hello bracket and a semicolon and now here as I said last time we, we called ours number count so we're gonna command C and command V if you're on a PC it's control C control V so make sure again that that matches or else it will not work lastly we're gonna do label um, the text uh, label the text let me find that so label the text equals um hello dot to string and end that with two um, brackets and end it with a semicolon so we're gonna command s and save our code and let's see how it goes so it's our sample scene right here unity might take a time make unity might take a few um, seconds to sync everything up so simply be patient but if it does simply click the play button and test it out now so as you can see with each click our numbers is going up now let's stop the scene and let's click again and let's see what happens as you can see it still is at 25 or well, it's 26 now because I clicked on it but as you can see here no matter how many times we click on it if we were to restart our game or our app it will still um, stick at the same number yes you can even close your laptop or your computer and I guarantee you it will be the same so that is how you save a value with player prefs um, if this video helped you out leave a like and comment down below peace out